Hello friends, welcome back to UberTuber, your supplier of good feels. We are here for another week of beautiful yoga and this week we are going to just work into being present. Really that's it. So all you want to do is just really ground ourselves down, be here and already start expressing some gratitude that you have already arrived on the mat. You've done the hardest part. It's going to be a mildly energizing yoga flow, but with lots of twists into the spine. The spine does love to twist. So we're just going to open up, wake up our bodies with this flow and hopefully bring on all the good it feels. You have already done the hardest part and that is making it to the mat so you can already start feeling the good feels and maybe just setting down getting present and just arriving exactly where you are so come into an easy pose a nice cross-legged and getting comfy just perhaps closing the eyes down and starting to stack the spine one on top of the other thinking about having our head over our heart. So that might mean pulling the chin back just a touch. Um, and then when you've got that, maybe just giving yourself a beautiful, generous shoulder roll. So bring the shoulders forward, up and back, and then just gliding them down the back of your spine so that you feel nice and long in your neck. Let's take a moment to ground down and sit in a little bit of gratitude for ourselves for already arriving here on the mat. We'll take a big breath in and a big breath out. Feeling that sense of gratitude and good feels wash over you with the exhales. Let's just lightly blink open the eyes. Maybe a smile comes to your face and take your hands out. Let's stretch them out nice and wide. So like you're reaching for opposite ends of the room that you're in, you're starting to feel a nice expanse across your chest, almost giving your shoulder blades a little squeeze together, but just noticing that you're not hunching up to your ears. We really want to give them a big solid pull down and extending both arms and stretching them as far as they can go. Let's turn the left palm facing up, nice, and turn our gaze down towards the right hand. Hmm, just noticing a little difference or maybe even a little bit of a push-pull action here. We're just gently, gently releasing the neck by doing this. Turn your head into centre and as you do, just change the palm so that your right hand faces down and the left hand faces up. Noticing the difference on the two sides, let's just start moving back and forward to breath, inhaling through the centre and then exhaling as we turn our palms and turn our gaze. I'm moving through that inhale and exhale. Allowing that lengthening and that push-pull action to just sort of rinse out any tension that we might be holding in the neck. Do a couple more each side, no rush, being super, super gentle. Inhale. Exhale. When you're ready, bring your hands down to your mat and just give that neck a little switch from side to side. That feels really nice. Extend your right arm up all the way to the sky. Anchor down that right hip. Make sure it feels really heavy. We're gonna go for a slight gentle side bend. Extend that right arm up, up, up. And then let's come over towards the left side. So big, beautiful stretch in that right side body. And using that left hand down here for support. Thinking about that stacked spine. So we wanna make sure that our vertebrae are somewhat stacked over the top of each other. Big breath in. And big release out. Coming all the way back to centre, that right arm is still in the air. Let's take right arm to left knee and go for a, a nice side twist. So once those two things connect, grow really, really tall out of the crown of your head. Take a big, beautiful breath in. Maybe a little extra twist on the breath out. 
Nice work. Let's go to the other side. So extending that left hand up into the air, growing really tall and anchoring down through that left side. Maybe using that right arm for support. We grow tall, 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 and then all the way over to that right side. It's so funny to feel the difference between from one side to the other, but not passing any judgment, just being present and knowing this is exactly where I need to be. Take a nice inhale. And a nice exhale. Coming all the way back to centre, let's take that left hand onto right knee. Take a nice gentle twist over towards that right side. Let's think tall, grow tall, inhale. Little extra twist on the exhale. Gently, gently coming all the way back to centre. Give yourself a little smile. Make our way into a tabletop position. So nice and slow, no rush. We're just grounding our hands down into the mat, gripping our little finger pads, noticing the texture of the mat and our knees are coming directly underneath our hips. And then when we get there, let's just extend that right foot back and give a beautiful stretch through the calf. I've been doing this a lot in our yoga practices lately and I just think it's a beautiful way to wake up through the backs of the legs. And keep that and then just make sure that you're pushing your weight evenly through both hands and the grounding leg. Switch your core on and let's lift that right leg up. Hmm. And again, keeping with that extension, almost like you're pressing that leg as far back as you can. Stay strong here, and if you want to, let's lift the opposite arm up and extend it forward. Ooh. Again, reach, reach, reach forward, and pull, pull, pull back. Feeling that nice cross stretch across the body. And then inhale, let's bring both the arm and leg down and we'll swap to the other side, extending that left leg long, going for that really nice calf stretch. It's waking up through the back of the legs. Just seeing what that feels like. And again, always moving like you. Sometimes you know more than what your body needs, probably more than I do. So it's nice to just move organically through some of these postures. We'll come to stillness here and let's make sure that we've got our weight evenly distributed through those three points that are in contact with the earth. When you've got that, pull that belly button into your spine and let's lift that back leg up. Hmm. Again, extending long, extending long. And if you want to, I invite you to lift the opposite arm up and stretch, stretch, stretch forward. Really pressing down actively through that left hand that's in contact with the mat. And taking a full round of breath, inhale. Big breath out, exhale. Gently and slowly, no rush. Let's take that hand and knee to the mat and come to a nice, generous child's pose. Take those knees nice and wide and then sink those hips back and down. Maybe this is your first one for the day, so you are just getting settled in. Again, let's not pass any judgment on where our body is at, but slowly, ever so slowly, just melt your chest into the ground. Maybe your head meets the earth or a block. And just arrive here. Allow the grounding breaths to really center you in this position. Again, taking a brief moment of gratitude, that thought from before, inhale. Exhale and know it to be true. Actively creep your hands forward, forward, forward. So we've got that pulling motion again. And let's walk the hands over towards the left side of the mat. When you get there, maybe your right hand comes on top of the left, big stretch. At the same time, you're pulling that right hip down in space. One round of breath, inhale. 
and exhale it all out. Let's creep our hands all the way through center and across to the right side of our mat. And then if you can, and if your body feels like it, your left hand might come on top of your right. Just one round of breath here, inhale. And big exhale out. Walk the hands back through center and then walk them in towards your body and we'll come back into our nice four point kneel. Pressing through those hands and really pressing through the shoulders so you're super, super active in the top half of your body. Extend that right leg back and left leg to meet, high plank position. Hmm. Nice work. Let's lift the right leg, keeping it straight for the time being. Take a breath in here. And on your exhale, bring that knee in towards your nose. Dome that upper back. Ooh, so nice. Come back to that high plank position. Stretch that right leg out. Lower it all the way down, other side. Lift the left leg, inhale. Hmm. Exhale, bring that knee to nose, dome through the upper back. Beautiful work. Extend that left leg long, drop the knees down. Let's lower down all the way to our chaturanga. Halfway, beautiful work. Breath in. And exhale, let's move through to our cobra pose. So hands are down beside the chest. We're growing long through the neck and press those feet into the ground. Take a full round of breath, inhale, maybe coming a little higher. Exhale, let's make our way back to that four point kneel. Pressing all the way up. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Tuck the back toes, let's lift and hover our knees one inch off the mat. Brace that core. Feel that strength in those arms. That's what we created a strong foundation for before. Take a full round of breath in. Send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Ooh, delicious. Come to a still position here and then I want you to bend your right knee a lot. And at the same time, sink that left heel down, melting it towards the mat. Just feeling that beautiful, delicious stretch and then swapping over sides, bending that left knee a lot, extending that right leg straight. This is a bit more of an intense version from the uh, four point kneel one we did before. And let's straighten both legs, stay active in your downward facing dog, big breath in, and big breath out. Let's roll forward into a plank position. So bring those shoulders over the hands. Feel free to drop the knees if you wish. Come down into your chaturanga position. You've got your option here, cobra or upward facing dog. Broaden through those collarbones in either position. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Hmm. Nice work. Lift the right leg high, inhale. Bring the knee towards the nose on the exhale. Drop that back knee down, untuck the toes here, but keep your left hand planted. Let's do a closed twist. So bring that right hand up, twist the chest towards that right leg. Open up, open up, inhale. Exhale, plant the hand down. Hmm. Let's sweep the arms forward, Anjani Asana. Ooh, and feel that beautiful opening through that hip flexor there. Maybe tucking your pelvis in so you can get a greater stretch. And then on your exhale, let's straighten through that front leg, half monkey. So stretching through the backs of the hamstring again. Bring your hands down to the mat if that feels good for you. And let's think long through the spine. Big breath in, grow long through the crown of the head. And exhale, maybe we hinge at the hip a little more. 
sweep the arms forward, Anjani Asana again. Let's do a nice little side stretch here. So using that right hand, grab hold of the left wrist, grow tall, anchor down through that left hip, pull that left hip down, imagine it's being pulled down, and at the same time, you're extending that left arm up towards the sky, inhale tall, and exhale over to the right side. Beautiful work. Inhale, come back to centre. Let's open up the twist here. So bring your arms forward in front of you and then your left hand, let's extend it all the way to the back. So you'll find you'll get a nice little opening through this inner thigh here, as well as a beautiful twist through the spine. Take a nice big breath in. And exhale, extend the arms out a little more. Sweep the left arm forward, Anjani Asana, grow tall, inhale. And exhale, let's frame the front foot. Tuck that back toe, straighten through the back leg, create a nice strip foundation here. Let's step the right foot back, high plank. Your version of Chaturanga, dropping the knees or keeping them high, up to you, lower down to halfway. Cobra, upward facing. Downward facing dog is where we're going. Beautiful work. All right, other side. Left leg lift, inhale. Knee towards the nose, step it on through. Hmm. Let's do a nice closed twist here. Plant that hand down and then open up through that left side. Ooh, it's a nice little twist for the upper spine. Inhale, bring that hand down. Let's drop that back knee down and untuck the toes. Sweep the arms forward for Anjani Asana. Growing tall, growing tall. And the exhale, straighten through that front knee, half monkey. Just like we did on the other side, make any little adjustments that you need to. And that might mean pulling that left hip back into the socket or pulling that right hip forward, just to get a little bit more of that stretch. Your hands might come to the earth, depending on where you're at today. Let's grow long through the spine, inhale. And exhale, hinging at the hip a little more if we can. Bend that front knee nice and generously. Sweep the arms forward, Anjani Asana. Let's do that side stretch on the other side. So grow tall through that left hand, and then using, hmm, left hand, grow tall through that right hand, and then using your left hand, grab hold of the right wrist, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stretch over to the side. Delicious. Inhale, coming all the way back to center. Let's bring our hands forward here. Retract the shoulders back and down. And then sweep that right arm back. Let's open up towards the right side. Ooh, beautiful stretch. One more breath in. And we exhale, sweep the arms forward, Anjani Asana. Hands come down, we'll frame that front foot. Lift the back leg, power up through that back leg, we've got this. Plant the hands down, let's step back into our downward facing dog. Let's take another child's pose here, so dropping those knees down nice and wide from the mat, send those hips back and down, and just noticing the difference in the hips and the upper body after having just that gentle little stretch, little flow. We are going to pick it up just a notch here. And we're going to just move a little bit more fluidly, get a little bit more energy moving. And when you're ready, make your way into your downward facing dog. Hips come to the sky. We'll take a few rounds of breath here just to prepare. So really pressing your hands into the mat and staying active through the shoulders. Inhale. On the exhale, lift the hips maybe a little higher and the chest might come to the thighs a little more. Get strong, plant the hands and let's lift the right leg, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Good, listen for the change here. Step that right foot forward and sweep the arms forward, high crescent lunge. 
A little bit different. Inhale, sink a little lower, but grow a little taller in the hands. Exhale, warrior two, let's open up. The inner thighs got a little bit of preparation in that, that last round. Flip that front palm, reach forward, exalt your warrior, grow tall, grow tall. And cartwheel the arms down. Step that left, uh, right foot back, your version, your flow, lower halfway down, upward facing, downward facing dog. One round of breath, big inhale, big exhale. Left leg lift, inhale. Knee towards the nose, you've got this. Step it through the hands. Sweep the arms forward, high crescent lunge. As you sink lower, grow taller, inhale. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Feel that beautiful, delicious opening through those inner thighs. Extend the arms long, long, long. Flip the front palm. Paint the sky with your hand. Grow tall through that side body. And take your version of a flow. Cartwheel those arms down and we frame that front foot. Step back, go through your flow. Downward facing dog. Ah, so nice, right leg lift, inhale. Knee towards the nose, step it through. Sweep the arms forward. Grow tall, warrior two. Hmm. Flip the front palm, paint the sky, exalt the warrior. Cartwheel the hands down. That's it. Take the flows. You've got this. We're winding down after this. Only have one more side to go. Left leg lift, inhale. Knee towards the nose. Step it on through. Good work. Let's go. High lunge. Sink lower but grow taller. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Let it all go. Flip that front palm. You've got this, sweep the hand up, lengthen through that side body. Last flow, frame the foot, step it back. Let's go all the way, downward facing dog. Come to child's pose. Knees nice and wide, send the hips back and down. And this time, just start returning to your calming breath. So big breath in through the nose, big breath out through the mouth. And what we're doing here is just noticing the difference in the energy after moving our body through a faster flow and noticing how quickly we can change our state with our breath, inhale. Exhale it all out. Feeling that sense of calm arriving in the present moment. One more full round, inhale. Big breath out, exhale. When you're ready, press into your hands and Walk your hands up towards your body. Noticing the difference. Ooh, I feel a little bit flushed. It's nice. Lots of energy. And then when you're ready, let's come all the way up into a high kneeling position. And completely optional here. But tuck your back toes. And then you've got a couple of options. You can just bring the hands down to the earth and that might be enough of a toe stretch for you. Or if you're looking for something a little bit extra, you can walk the hands up the body and just allow yourself to come into this really, really intense but beautiful posture. Stay here for a few rounds of breath. Feeling it build and return to your breath and your thought of gratitude that you had from the start of the class. Hmm. 
Return to your sense of gratitude from the start of the class. Allow that feeling to build. And just know with each breath, you are strong, you are capable, you can make it through this. Big breath in, big breath out. Let's do one more. You can do this one more breath in. One more breath out. Think, open the eyes. Change your opinion of the feeling that's building through the back of your feet. Take a smile. Walk the hands forward. Release the pressure from the backs of the toes. Ah. Press the tops of the feet into the mat, maybe even giving them a little pitter-patter. And just think to yourself, it wasn't that bad. I got through it. It was good for me. And then when you're ready, just sit your hips off to one side. And then swing your legs forward. So we come into a nice little forward fold position. So keeping a generous bend in your knees if that's what you need today. We're going to sit tall, sit tall through the crown of the head. We have our heart and head stacked over the top of each other. Reaching your arms up, up, up. Nice L shape. And then let's reach them forward, reach them forward. Pull that belly button into spine to make some space. Reach for anywhere on your legs that you're going to land. And then just using your hands to grab onto whatever it is, whether that's the calves or the ankles or the backs of the feet. Hmm. Practicing non-judgment and not being angry or frustrated with your body, but instead using some loving and empowering language of, I'm so glad I get to do this class. I'm so glad that I have the ability to participate in this activity. I'm so glad that I allowed myself the time to practice some self-care, some inner work. Inhale, breath, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And exhale. It's in those beautiful, loving, caring and gratitude thoughts all the way down to the areas that you're feeling a little bit stuck. And just acknowledge that it's completely normal. We're working on the habits of changing the way that we speak to ourselves, and that in turn changes the way we speak to others. Let's just stay for one more round of breath. Big inhale, nice active stretch. And big exhale. And if you've closed your eyes, just slowly blink them open. And then really gently start dragging your hands back towards your hips and slowly unraveling your spine. And it's growing tall, growing tall. The last thing to come up is that chin off the chest. And when you get there, let's take a beautiful, generous, big shoulder roll. <laughs> Bend your knees and allow your feet to come flat onto the mat. And then just taking your right hand to left knee, come to a gentle spine twist, inhale. And exhale. Go around to the other side, inhaling through center, growing tall. And exhale, nice juicy twist. And then, and then when you're ready, let's take the soles of the feet together, Supta Baddha Konasana, and we're gently going to lower ourselves down using our hands as a guide, coming all the way down. Uh, and just place both of your hands onto your belly. Allowing your body to adjust to this new position. And if it is feeling particularly yucky on your back or whatnot, just bring one leg up towards the ceiling and swapping them over really gently as you need. Both your hands are on the belly and let's just turn inwards for a moment. Noticing that rise and fall of the belly and just quietly thinking to yourself, I'm so grateful that my body is moving and working in such a way. 
take both of your hands to your belly, turning inward and noticing your breath. And just start thinking thoughts of gratitude for how much your body does for you, involuntarily, voluntarily. you even having to think it's performing all these amazing and beautiful functions just to be alive to feel to get you from where you need to go all within a split second and you have just given yourself 30 minutes of your time your body will be grateful your mind will be grateful to really recharge Really gently with your eyes closed down, just start extending your legs long onto the mat. One leg and then the other leg. Feel free to keep your hands on your belly if you wish or you can come into your full Shavasana by taking the hands down beside your body, palms face up. releasing any tension, any unwanted thoughts that you might be holding on to. Starting to bring your awareness back by placing one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Inhale breath, I am. Exhale, enough. Allowing that thought to stick with you for the remainder of your day or night. Gently and slowly make your way up into easy pose, a comfortable seat. Any way that feels organic and genuine to you. Keeping the eyes closed down when you arrive in your easy pose, just start growing tall through the crown of your head. Confident and strong and then placing that one hand back on the belly and the other hand on the heart. Seal this practice with another I am affirmation, inhaling I am enough, exhale. Just by making it to the mat today and participating in this practice, you are already showing your body that you are enough by practicing non-judgment and making a commitment to a self-practice shows you are enough. Thank your mind and thank your body. One round of breath in. Big breath out. Bring your hands to heart center, prayer position. Bow your head, thumb tips to third eye. Together we say namaste. The light in me sees the light in you. Thank you so much, beautiful people. That was such a delicious, energizing, twisty, open flow. I am feeling the goods and I hope you are too. If you are feeling good and you want to leave me a comment about anything you liked, please do. And also know that if you ever have any questions, just hit me up on Instagram because I would love to hear from you. Enjoy your day or evening or whatever you are doing after this. And again, thank you so much for joining me and your body will thank you too. Lots of good feels. Big love, my friends.